today I'm going to cook Iberico baby bag and St. Louis style pork ribs for you. Iberico is also known as the pata negra. They're pigs that are fed on a diet of acorns and their meat is absolutely delicious. Some even say it's the Wagyu of pork. When I'm smoking meat, I always prefer to use the Fogo Super Premium Charcoal. It brings these big chunks of charcoal that burn a long time and are low for better airflow. And the best is, you can simply snap out this charcoal when you're done and then reuse it later again and again. I'm adding peach wood to the charcoal today. Peach is sweet and mild and gives a fantastic smoke flavor for these pork ribs. And here's the style of the show, Pata Negra Iberico Pork Ribs. The black Iberian pigs roam freely in southern Spain and Portugal. They forage and feast on a diet of acorns that gives the meat a unique nutty and rich decadent flavor. I'm going to prepare these Iberico ribs just like I would any other pork rib. I'm going to trim and round the edges a bit and remove the membrane. An easy way to do this is using a paper towel. First of all, we want to be using yellow mustard as a binder for the rub. It will cook off and you won't have any of those mustard flavors, but it will help the rub to stick well. Big shout out here to my friend James Cruz, who won third place ribs at Memphis and May last year. And um, I called him up yesterday and he gave me a couple of pointers. For the rub, I'm going to use a traditional barbecue pork rub. The full ingredients are in the description as always. I love the great color the paprika in the rub gives the pork. I'm smoking these ribs at 250 degrees today. After about an hour, I'm spritzing them with water to keep them moist and prevent them from drying out. I also like to rotate the grates. Why? Well, you need to know your smoker. Most smokers have hot spots. So unless you rotate the meat, you risk drying it out or overcooking it in some areas and not being done in others. And that's why you want to rotate the meat every hour or so. After about two and a half hours on the smoker, these ribs look amazing. To be honest, these Iberico ribs might have been done at this stage. The meat is different from normal pork ribs and I think I've overcooked the Iberico from this stage on. However, for normal pork ribs, after about two and a half, three hours, you want to take off your ribs and wrap them in aluminum foil. You can add um, apple juice, sugar, butter, honey and even a little bit more rub and then place your ribs back on the smoker for another hour to finish them. The ribs are done when you grab two and they easily pull apart with no effort. If they're not there yet, just put them back on and cook them a little bit longer. It's barbecue after all, and that means it's done when it's done. Don't rush the process. All right, guys. Our Iberico baby bag and, and San Luis Sandals. style ribs are ready. Thanks for coming again, Beto. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, man? This looks... What do you think? What do you think? First impressions. Uh, the color looks beautiful. Yeah, this um, color. Some look a bit dark, yeah. but this this one looks mahogany. The <laughs> San Luis style ribs looks amazing. And look at this. Like, I don't know if there's such a thing as a bent test with ribs. I, I like to think there's right. Looks pretty amazing. Yeah. Let's dig right in before the rain comes down on us. Look at this. Clean of the bone. Super nice. But it doesn't no. just fall off. All right. Let's go for the bite. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Clean of the bone, but a great amount of bite to it. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, Super tender. I love the taste. Mm. Yeah. So here's the thing, right? I went like, I treated these ribs like, like normal, normal barbecue ribs. Yeah. This could have come out of Walmart, you know, Smithfield, the cheapest Smithfield ribs you can find in Walmart, and I would have put that same rub on it. And I have to say, it does sort of taste a little bit like that, right? 
I don't. I would have expected. You know, after we did the after Segreto, the Segreto Iberico, yeah. um, it's a shame we didn't. You know, yeah, we wanted to kind of feel that incredible meaty flavor mm -hmm. again, and really the, the intenseness of the barbecue rub. Although it's not, it's not crazy intense. Like it's not crazy. It's nice, but that's what you feel basically. It's 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 American. Barbecue rub yeah. ribs, basically. Yeah, it's a little bit yeah. a shame, you know. We yeah. couldn't feel the really or the real Iberico taste yeah. in these ribs. Yeah. These are fantastic ribs, but maybe could have been better by going salt and pepper. A little bit more basic. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know, you guys live through us. You learn uh, through our mistakes. So don't do, don't do, don't, uh, don't overkill it. This time, yeah. don't do what we are doing. Uh, <laughs> do better. And you know, uh, let us know what you think. You know, let us know what you think um, about this cook in the comments below. And you know, even though we messed up, don't forget to share with your friends. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel. See you guys next week. Next week's gonna be a good one. Next week we're going to do Iberico pork chops. It's gonna be pretty amazing. I bet. Yeah. All right. See you guys next week. Bye.